baffled. Harry bites the dust after Ken Wharf unmasks his biggest lie over Invictus Games scandal. The Duke of Sussex has made the decision to cross the Atlantic for The Hague shortly after refusing to be with his British family at Westminster Abbey ten days ago. After being delayed by the pandemic, the next staging of the Invictus Games, an international sports competition for injured or sick military personnel and veterans from across the globe, will take place from April 16 to 22. Former Met Inspector Ken Wharf, who was protection officer for Princess Diana, William, and Harry, has said Invictus links to the military and former soldiers, common targets for terrorists including ISIS extremists, means the potential threat to them and Harry is arguably higher there than being in London for Prince Philip's service of Thanksgiving on March 29. But he is still jetting across the world to The Hague. Police and security services in the Netherlands have refused to say whether he will get royal protection in Holland, although it is likely because one of the event's partners is the Dutch Ministry of Defence, which is also in charge of the country's security and terrorism. Ken Wharf told Mail Online, I'm baffled about why Harry thinks he would be safer in the Netherlands than in the UK. He would have travelled to his grandfather's memorial service with his brother or father and received protection from the Met. It's not like he would have been turning up at Westminster Abbey on a bike. He added, the Dutch police will be doing their own security assessments and liaising with Harry's private security. But my view it is more of a risk to go to Holland to support a charity with a military link than coming to London last week. Mail Online has asked Prince Harry's spokesman about his security arrangements for Invictus. The Dutch and Modern Royal Protection Departments declined to comment. A spokesman said, we take measures based on the security threat level. The Duke is at the heart of an extraordinary legal wrangle over his security when coming to Britain. He mounted a legal challenge against the Home Office having been told he would no longer be given the same degree of personal protective security when visiting from the US, despite claiming he had offered to pay for it himself. Mr. Wharf said that nobody is stopping Harry bringing his own security to the UK, although they would not be able to carry guns. He also said he believed the Met and the government would meet him halfway and provide a liaison officer to talk through any risks, but said the British authorities were quite right to take a stand against him. Harry wants everything to be the way it was before he left for America, he said. The experienced Royal Protection Officer added, when with the royal family he would be protected by armed officers but not if he wanted to go out with his mates to the pub in the evening. Many fans commented about Ken Wharf's claim. One said, why does he think he is safer in LA, given the higher rates of gun ownership there? One replied, sadly he has become a disgrace and an embarrassment to his family and country. Another said, security was an excuse. Megamouth wouldn't come to the UK as we have all seen through her fake charade, and Dopey didn't want to face the criticism from his brother and rest of the family, over his appalling behaviour. It's not working out as he envisaged, the lazy dipstick. Last month the High Court heard that the Duke did not feel safe in Britain without Scotland Yard officers, who he believes offer superior protection to privately hired bodyguards. The Duke's legal team claimed he wanted to return to the UK to see family and friends, adding, most of all, this is and always will be his home. Harry was said to have wanted to return for the Thanksgiving service for Philip, and to bring his children Archie and Lilibet and wife Meghan. Government officials were said to have been infuriated by the royal's legal action, 